can barely talk. Just never know that it can happen to you. In spite of exhaustive searches and prayers, the OSBI confirms investigators believe missing Athena Brownfield is no longer alive. News 9, Sylvia Corkhill joins us live in Surreal, where Athena's family says right now they are caught in the crosshairs of an outraged public. Sylvia? Amanda Carl with no formal custody arrangement. Athena and her sister were in the care of a relative and her estranged husband. Now, since their arrest, the public has not shied away, blaming multiple adults for failing the girls. All those keyboard warriors or whatnot, they, they really need to just stop. A passionate community showing up for Athena Brownfield day after day. Heartbroken. Just want her home. Days following her disappearance, Alicia Adams was jailed on two counts of child neglect. Her estranged husband, Ivan, tracked to Arizona, appearing in court last week on a first-degree murder complaint. Social media comments erupting into a flurry of anger and outrage. Athena's paternal grandmother telling me they've received death threats. People are being nasty and mean and blaming innocent family members. One person writing, I hope someone can answer this. Where are her parents? Another person saying this would have never happened if she'd been with people who loved her. And there'd better be more than two arrests made when the salt comes out. A woman related to Athena's biological mother, who did not want to be identified, out of fear of being further berated by the public, tells me Athena's mother is not a horrible human being saying the mother temporarily entrusted her daughters to her cousin Alicia a year and a half ago. The news of Athena's suspected death while living with her in this home too much to bear. The relatives saying Athena's mother is grieving right now. She's just trying her best to process it and cope with it the best way she knows how. Now, as the search for Athena's remains continues with investigators playing this, this case so close to the vest, we hope to glean more information from new court filings expected to be released tomorrow. Live in Surreal, Sylvia Corkale, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.